Others have apart from Delhi's Jantar Mandar. This is something that even Mohit is saying that the session may be over, but the protest, the dharna, and the politics over it is far from over. Remember, just yesterday you had the India parties holding protests across the nation, terming the suspension as nothing but murder of democracy in Lucknow. The Samajwadi Party, the Congress, as well as the left parties, all of them protested jointly as well. Congress workers, meanwhile, held rallies in Shimla, in Bhopal, Srinagar, and Patna, leading the charge against the center. Congress MP Rahul Gandhi said said that Prime Minister Modi could not deliver on his promise to employ the youth. Ultimately, this is what led to the security breach. He even said that today's youth was so jobless that they are busy scrolling through Instagram for hours. We'll get you that soundbite of Rahul Gandhi, but let me go across to Shehzad, who's joining us, the national spokesperson of the BJP, Shehzad Punawala. Shehzad, this is very interesting because the winter session's already over. The, those who were suspended, now the, even that suspension stays, uh, uh, has ended. And yet you have now Mr. Malikar Junkarge writing to Vice President Dhankar saying, we are ready for a discussion at a time and place of your convenience. What do we take forward from this? What's the messaging behind it all? Mr. Malikar Junkarge should be writing an apology letter because the manner in which they have undermined the position of the vice president by mimicking, mocking, posture shaming and body shaming him is an unforgivable sin. And therefore, Mr. Khadge, rather than writing these cosmetic letters, should be writing an apology letter on behalf of Rahul Gandhi and should be apologizing for the behavior that they showed inside parliament. It seemed that they wanted to orchestrate this kind of scene so that the attention could be deflected from the real issue that the Congress party perhaps orchestrated and backed and supported the parliamentary security intruders by giving this bahana of Behrozgari. Rahul Gandhi has done that even yesterday. Mm. If they consider it to be such an attack on parliament, why are they coming out and justifying it? Mm. Why are they continuously saying that this is a justified action? It means that the Congress nexus with these elements is out in the open and therefore whether it's in 2001 parliament attack or 2023 parliament attack congress ka haath hamesha aise ugrawadiyon ke saath shahzad do you think this could possibly be in response to times now's navika kumar's exclusive interview to pralad joshi and some of the damning charges that he had made one of them was that the entire suspension showdown was carefully orchestrated he offered to revoke the suspension of 13 mps initially but even that was turned down they said no we want to be suspended could this be a response to that to try and cover up for it Absolutely. This is nothing but damage control on the part of Mr. Kharge because now that the session is over, Pralaj Joshi, the parliamentary affairs minister, could speak his mind and put the facts in front of the country, which he has done by giving the interview to Navika Kumar. And therefore, very carefully, this entire damage control has been scripted by the Congress party. But they must be telling us why they don't give an apology for the mm. actions which are unforgivable towards Jackie Bankerji. Mm -hmm. So the BJP is asking, why ask for time to debate and discuss when there is no apology coming in for the Congress for the insult which was dished out very publicly inside the Parliament complex by the opposition MPs against the Vice President of India. Thank you so much, uh, Shahzad, for joining us. Meanwhile, we were discussing the kind of...